the money flowing into Adam Newman's new company, Flow. The former WeWork CEO and co-founder receiving a $350 million check from venture capital firm Andreessen Horowitz. It's the largest check the firm has ever written in a funding round, according to the New York Times. That brings Flow to a billion-dollar valuation pre-launch. The business aiming to disrupt the residential real estate market by creating a product consistent with service and community features, although exact details are not known. Andreessen Horowitz was an early investor in names like Facebook and Airbnb, and co-founder Mark Andreessen writing in a blog post today, quote, we think it is natural that for his first venture since WeWork, Adam returns to the theme of connecting people through transforming their physical spaces and building communities where people spend the most time, their homes. Our Deirdre Bosa, who's covered WeWork for years, joins us for, for more. And Deirdre, my question is, did Mark Andreessen not watch We Crash? <laughs> he must have. Maybe got a little jealous. He didn't have a part in it, Sarah. Um, it is a lot of people, you know, it's not just Wall Street buzzing about this. A lot of people in the Bay Area, too, are kind of scratching their heads and thinking, OK, Adam Newman may be still this kind of incredible founder and entrepreneur, a lot of charm, really good pitch man. But... If you think that he's been humbled from the experience with WeWork, why throw another $350 million at him for a company to value it at a billion dollars pre-launch? It feels sort of like deja vu all over again. In terms of what the actual business is flow, we don't know a lot of the details, but it does sort of feel like similar to what he was doing with WeWork. That was for offices, but with Flow, he's trying to bring that same concept to residential living, which is what he was trying to do with We Live. Remember, Sarah, there was the education part, the living part, that never got off the ground because things fell apart. So now he's doing it under a different name with different investors. And he's been buying up land to do this, right? We, we, we know that, especially in the southern part of the U.S.? Yeah, some 3,000 apartments reportedly. And you have to wonder, in the same sense that we asked, was WeWork ever a technology company? Certainly, it got that valuation with backers like Masayoshi Sun and SoftBank, but that came down in remarkable fashion to now valued around $4 billion. At its peak, it was $47 billion. Similar question here. Okay, Adam Newman is rethinking the residential experience again. That's interesting, but should it command a tech valuation? And... At a billion dollars pre-launch, it certainly seems headed that way. Um, but is this just, you know, multifamily REITs by another name? That was, was always the questions plaguing WeWork. I will say, though, Sarah, having covered it and going to a number of WeWork events at its peak mm -hmm. and even interviewing Adam Newman, um, he is this really grand thinker. He does have the ability to create a community in a way that few entrepreneurs can. I guess the main question, though, is, is he humbled enough? Can he do it this time around? Or is this more money being thrown at him that will lead to the same corporate governance problems? The thing is, we just don't know. We don't know what lessons have been learned. But clearly, Mark Andreessen thinks enough. Yeah. Well, that, that's, a, I guess, a boost here for, for the credibility. Thank you, Deirdre.